Dancehall Queen Bumper Sister Shelly and spoke with Rapper Cropper and gave us some insight as well as some update with the family. Welcome to the Dancehall IG channel. So yes, people, you know what I mean? Last week we had this tragic incident regarding a dancer, or regarding two dancers, Dancehall Queen Bumper and one Momo. But, you know, since then, we don't really hear nothing. Momo is still on the run, we are going to say at this time, even though... You know what I mean? We are gonna tell you exactly what the sister said. First of all, I wanna say this. You know what I mean? Rest in peace, bumper boy. Also, I wanna say to you, if you want to help this family or you wanna reach out to the family and help any at all, you gotta contact Rapper Crapper. So Rapper Crapper have them contact. I don't have no direct contact to them. Um, this is just relaying what happened on Rapper Crapper live last night. Maybe a lot of people missed it. So I just feel like going over back some key points would help. So if you want to help the family any, just uh, message Rapper Crapper on Facebook, he said, and then he will put you in contact with them, right? So, so far, she talked about the kids and she said the kids them move to them father. The two boys them move with their father. But the little one had to come back because of the schooling. So, so far she has said, they don't really know, like this little one don't really know what I'm going you know what I mean? I guess it's him to him younger. So, I think they're 8 and 11. I think that's the age they are. So, yeah. But other than that, you know, them, they might take it real hard, people. And it's expected for them to take it real hard. She said, her mother of pressure and sugar. So... You know, they might try. Anyway, it's very sad, people. May I tell you? I'm going to listen to the interview and may I tell them I feel it for them. You see me? However, she has said, no, one time it happened and then go to the hospital. There was a lot of things that could have got different that, you know what I mean, end up, make it end up how it end up. Because first of all, when they go to the hospital, nobody want to tell the doctor what happened to bumper like everybody has tried to keep a closed mouth and now say you know what i mean the girl jump on her and broke her neck which them have to find out the doctor them have to find out by scan what really go on and it turned out that her neck was broken in three places people three different places her neck was broken and then the vomit was in her system blocking her lungs and things so if them didn't know what go on earlier maybe them think they could have get cleared up and maybe she could have lived who don't know it so may i say and also, the first thing out of all of these people to me is that she never booked for that event. She said, um, one of the girl and Bumper was friends. She and Momo is not so much friend. They are like more like acquaintance. They know each other, but they're not friends like that. She friends with the other girl. We are mutual friends of both of them, both of them, right? And she never booked for the event. Them other two girls get booked for the event, Momo and the other friend, and decide for carry her along, which make the promoter not, you know what I mean, him not responsible for nothing, him never book her for coming there. So if, me don't know if him go find himself to help out with the expenses or what, that was mentioned, but that would be nice also, or if he at least reach out to the family, they never mentioned that either, but he's not old, um, he's not responsible for any of this, like, you know what I mean? It's not theme fact. Um, also, Momo is supposed to turn herself into the police station, from what the sister say, to give her side of the story. And Momo is nowhere to be found. So at this point, it's like she's kind of wanted, you see me? I said, because she's supposed to turn in herself to give her a statement, and she hasn't turned up since that time. And she has a contact with the family. However, there was something that was said in the first video and that Daima said she, she never visit um, Bumper in a hospital. Now, that's partially true from what the sister said. The sister said in the last half now when uh, surgery time and them thing there, she never showed up. But when it just happened, um, she was at the Lucy Hospital with them. So And she was apologizing, so she never mean to do it. And all these things, which the sister says she not really believe because um, after Bumper did the surgery, you know, Bumper said, um, they might ask Bumper, Bumper could you talk? Because Bumper is paralyzed. And who can tell from the video, like, yeah, that from that moment, and she couldn't move. But she said, she asked her, say, for if she did tell Momo to jump on her for Quint, or 
if not she will shake her head and she says she move her head you see me i say so i guess that's not the case and you know i mean me can't pay judge and jury here me don't know me don't know me i go off what the sister said you see me but the like me said people when they go they didn't want to tell what happened. Nobody wanted to speak up because the doctor them could have been more efficient than them job. I understand if them did talk and I say what well, go on. But nobody now said that. Also, you know, when she died, she said, the sister said that nobody call her. Like this happened like she died, say seven o'clock in her man, and we after four she find out. And when them find out, the nurse literally had to use her sister finger for open her phone for call them because there was like no kind of that we no friend no nothing no one um, you know and you understand so sometimes then you know you visit and then you go home and we don't know how far this is people because they um it's between lucy and and moby because she went to two hospitals she did their lucy and then transferred to cornwall regional so we don't know how it go exactly um another sad thing people is that the sister them and the family, the sister and the family, they never see this video until the video are grown social media. She says she had tell somebody like, you hear what happened to Roxy and the person show them the video. I say, yeah, let me see it on the video, see the video, yeah. So the video basically has circulated and gone. And that's very sad for you know, say, you know, as a family member, the thing gone out of the world long time and everybody know and you don't know that's kind of sad people so i mean i know jamaica we have to do better sometime you know even though me them video i'm gonna share them sometime and whatever me never share this one though this one video me never upload me talk about it twice now but i did not upload this video on any of my platform um a lot of people contact me and ask for it when i have it like that i don't upload it you see me i say that's just a personal choice all right so yeah people that's it in a nutshell like me say again if you want to help reach out to rapper crapper and message him on his facebook and he will put you in contact with the family you see me so people that's it basically if there's any other update if momo turning herself if they find momo nowhere if more more clear, whatever it is, funeral D and M thing they wanna hear nothing yet. Cause autopsy not done yet, by the way, people. You see me? She said the autopsy still has to be done, even though it's clear like what happened and what cause her to lose her life. But you know the procedure and you know that go. Them still have to do all of that. But that not happened yet. And either way, if more more go get charged or not, she still have to give a statement. You know what I mean? That's just the law and how the law operate, but they cannot find her to give a statement. The questions are all raised if she's scared or not, and people are saying threat. Now, the family made it clear that they haven't threatened Momo. They try to call Momo, and they can't get in contact with it, but the sister made it clear. They hadn't sent any kind of threat towards Momo. They have them doubts about what happened and how it's explained in the voice note by Momo, but she said they never once threatened Momo about anything. They just need her to turn herself into the police so the police can do their proper investigation. And if there are any justice to be served, it can be served. So that's about it. But like I say, you know what I mean? She's nowhere to be found. So one more time, people, my child to make it. You know what I mean? Soaking so they can. If people who really want help, like if you can afford for help any at all, we don't know what they need. We don't know if I just, you know what I mean? If I even like a, if you say, carry on good and, you know, uplift your head, whatever it is, you want to tell that family, contact them to Rapper Crapper. Rapper Crapper said to message him on his Facebook so you can get their contact. All right. So other than that, people, if it's your first time on this page and you have a like and follow this page, please like and follow this page for daily updates. And if you are watching on YouTube and it's your first time and you have a subscribe to this channel, please subscribe to this channel for daily updates. And people, she was 27 years old, just in case you're wondering, she was 27 years old. So, you know, what I mean, still fairly young and she's been dancing for about four years now our sister say so it's a sad way to go rest in peace bumper 
my condolences to the family and you know what I mean we just I keep our fingers crossed for the two boys them. Alright people, I'm out.